Hey, what's going on YouTube? It is uh, 4.50 a.m. You can't see a freaking, there we go. 4.50 a.m. No, I'm not up this early to go fishing. I am fishing today. I'm getting up early to go drop that kid off at the airport because he's got to go home to do fun things in Texas. And I'm gonna stay here for, I don't know, for a few more hours and try to fish. So I gotta drive an hour to go drop him off at the airport and drive like another like hour and a half back to the lake, fish for like three or four hours and then drive another hour and a half back to the airport, catch a flight, go home. But hopefully today we are gonna catch fish. Drop. Sick audio. Bye, Andrew. See you Friday. See you. Yeah, I'll see you Friday. See you, Tyler. Have fun. Luggage with me, my backpack, all my stuff. I'm meeting Darian. Whoa! Don't want to, don't want to step in that. Meeting Darian down here. We are at Smith Lake since Gunnersville was not the greatest thing in the world. I've got it's about eight o'clock, which means maybe five, six hours or something to fish, maybe. So it should be enough. So hopefully, hopefully, actually catch some fish on camera since the other video wasn't that good. All right, I'm gonna start off with the uh, little walking bait here. It's like dead calm, and so we are gonna <clears throat> try to find some schooling fish since it's still fairly early in the morning. Okay. Oh yeah? Yeah, I'm about to start working for him a bunch again just because the tea business is on the like, totally off season right now. Yeah. There's one. Oh, finally. I wasn't even paying attention. Good one, dude. That is a good one. There we go. Hey, dude. Large mouth. It's a long fish. Oh my <laughs> gosh. Okay, well, that really surprised me. It's first fish on the top water. There we go. First, uh, first bass, two and a half or so. Throwing so that little topwater walking bait. I'm just like, we're blind casting on this. I, I say blind casting. I'm sure there's a strategy to it, but up on these rocks, and they just kind of hit it on the pause. I was not paying attention at all. All right, see you, Peter. Whoa! Oh, Peter's a splasher. <laughs> Peter got attitude, man. Peter. Get back in the lake, Peter. <laughs> yeah. Uh, she's an orthodox. Well, there's bass. There you go. I saw him eat that. There you go. <laughs> Little spot, huh? I saw him. He just came out and swiped that thing. Not a, not a giant, but not a big one. He, he a lot crushed of times those spots it. Are here, though, you can watch him come up and eat it. He crushed it's pretty it. Pretty cool. It came right off that stump too. Nice. I smoked right around it. I saw him following up. There you go. It's fish number two. He's throwing a little swim bait. I'm sticking with the little spook for a little bit. Walking bait. In the group thing. Oh my god. There you go. Oh my gosh, dude. I am. Dude, that thing crushed it. That's a giant spot. Yeah, baby. There you go. Oh, Smith Lake spotted dog. That was nuts. I don't think I've ever seen anything run that hard ride the boat. Dude, he hit it and like I thought he missed it because of how fast he was. Going. Yeah, he ran under the boat so fast. It's a little buzz, buzz bait toad action there. That's crazy, dude. 
That is a good spot. Jeez. There you go. Smith Lake, dude. It was like you dro I thought you like threw something in the water and it was like dropping a cannonball. But you might not be something you want to tie to. But like if you were to do something like that, where you'd get used by a bunch of different like four or five different brands. Yeah. Oh, there's a fish. Little baby. Uh, oh! Little guy. Little guy. That's a large one, ain't it? Yep. Whoa, snap! See you later, dude. <laughs> Alright, he didn't want to come in the boat anyways. Oh, big one, dude. I just, I got a big one. Woo. Oh. I swear to God. Uh-oh. Oh! Oh, oh. <laughs> oh two-pound spotted dog. Uh, two and a... He's on, he's, he's on the phone. He just cracked on the phone. A, Just cracked one. Look at that oh, spot. Oh, jig. Smoked him right in the top. There you go. Uh-huh. No, jigger. Oh, jigger. Nice. Always talk on the phone when you're fishing. That's the uh, like tips. Yeah. Yeah, right there. Tackle tip. Ta tackle tip. Uh, tackle tip Tuesday. Make sure you're talking on the cell phone and uh, throw a jig. It's like how, how you catch a big ones. That one, that, that's a six. I'm going to catch them on that one. Put that one. Okay. So, so far we've caught fish on a walking bait, buzz bait, jig, crank bait. I kind of caught that fish on a crank bait. <laughs> I'll, I'll count it. It was a flare fish, it counts. So we've kind of just been junk fishing. We've, we've actually ran like a really long ways down this lake. We found some dirtier water and now he's kind of flipping and pitching a jig into Texas rigs and I'm throwing the crank bait still. Actually, I tied on a different crank bait, but I'm kind of doing more of a power fishing technique. We're just kind of moving down the bank to see if we can catch any big fish. He's caught two big spots. So I'm hoping I can hook into, hook into one of those dudes at some point throughout the rest of the day. So it's about 11 o'clock right now and we can fish until about 1, 1.30 maybe. So do the math, I'm really good at math. Three hours or so left of fishing. So my goal is to catch a spot that's close to three pounds or a large mouth that's close to three pounds or any fish for that matter that's close to three pounds. So I just wanna give you guys a quick update but I am going to go back to catching fish. I mean, I, I know that, like, from what, like what you're saying, y'all have a video. And he's oh, oh, oh! <laughs> get it, get it, dude! Oh, what the hell? Hit it like three times, the little guy. So I've switched to the buzz bait. We're kind of back in this creek here. Wind's blowing a little bit. It is sunny, but when you get this, like, wind and a little bit dirtier water, you can kind of get those buzz baits. So we're really just kind of junk fishing, throwing a bunch of different baits, different locations, just trying to catch a few fish. We've only got a couple more hours to fish. But I'd like to catch one on on top water. I had a little dude chase this thing earlier, and uh, after seeing a Darien's explosion, I think that I want to experience something similar. So I'm gonna keep throwing this little buzzbait for a little bit. Hopefully, hopefully connect with the big dude. We are ending the fishing day. I gotta go catch a flight. We got this fish here, that fish right there. Beautiful spotted bass. We're gonna get get a quick release on these guys. This is John Wall. Oh, oh. John Wall got attitude too. We're gonna let you go, Adrian. Like See you, buddy. That's it. Oh, we have to take this boat back. About a 20 minute run down the lake. Get in the car, drive like an hour and a half to the airport. Get on a plane, go to Georgia. Wait for two hours, get on another plane, fly home. Get home at like 11 or midnight or something. Well, I am back home. It's actually morning, like the next morning after I was filming this. Basically, all you missed is I drove home, went to bed, that's it. I got home at midnight, like 12.30, something like that. My flight was a little bit delayed, but I'm home. Feels good to be home. It's freezing, it's actually like somewhat snowing, like right outside of there. It's actually snowing a little bit, so that kind of sucks. But I wanted to end the video here. I hope you guys enjoyed. I know the fishing wasn't the best. The best fishing that we had was filming the TV show, which I can't even film, Which, but it will be on a TV. I had a lot of questions about that. I don't know all the details on what network it's gonna be on. I know I think it's gonna air sometime in February or March. 
And uh, if I find out the details, I'll make sure to let you guys know. It was a pretty sick episode. We caught some big fish and uh, overall had a good time. So if you guys enjoyed the travel vlogs, leave a thumbs up. I plan on traveling a lot like I have been saying. I'm going to California on Friday in just a couple days. And then Texas the week after that. I'm going to be going all over the place. So if you do like the travel vlogs, make sure you leave a like and drop a comment down below. Uh, tell me that you enjoy them. Maybe suggest a location to travel to. It doesn't really matter to me. Just comment something. I appreciate all the support that I've been getting over kind of my downtime this fall when I was just kind of really stuck in school and not able to travel. You guys stuck with me. You kept watching my videos even though they were similar, you know, going to Nebraska ponds, Nebraska lakes, nothing really just crazy out there that we're changing it. You guys stuck with it. So expect some awesome content coming. That's all I've got. Peace. So I can't film today because we're filming a TV show, but this is Boyd Duckett's one, this is one of the rooms in his garage. Look at this. You guys think I have a lot of baits. There's more over here and down there. Look at that. It's just like thick.